Hi everyone. Today I will be making my first impression. I'll be making my first first impression video if that makes any sense. Um, on the L'Oreal um, Magic Nude Liquid Powder in the color 320 Natural Beige. So this is how it looks. Um, it says that you know it turns into like a powder finish. Um, this is my actually my first time in a long time since I use any drugstore products. My first foundation ever was the L'Oreal True Match, and I liked it, but it has some kind of glitter in it, so it kind of like pushed me away from it, but it still gave me a nice finish to my face. Um, and then Sephora came along, and I started experimenting with different foundations and different products and different brands, so that's why I kind of lured away from the, you know, drugstore. So, yeah, so I will be trying this foundation on. Um, it says to, um apply with the fingers, but I will be applying it with the Sephora Airbrush Precision Foundation Brush. It's very dense, so um, let's see how this goes. Um, this is my first time making first impression video, so I'm really excited to kind of just show you guys how this foundation um, goes throughout the day, if it, um, you know, if it smudges off, if it lasts all day. Um, to start off, I want to just say that I do have combination skin, oily and dry. So I'm pretty oily on my T-zone, but I'm dry around my nose area, which doesn't make sense, but whenever I apply certain foundations, the it creases the size of my nose and it looks like it's scaly, like if there's like cracks in my nose, which looks disgusting. So I really, I really have to find like a perfect foundation for my face. So I found like the Nars Shiro works really well, the Hourglass foundation. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this doesn't do that on my nose. Um, but yes, I will be showing you guys throughout the day how it's going to be. Right now, it is around, let's see, it is around 4 o'clock. So, I will be doing a lot of errands. I might go to the gym. So, let's see how this foundation stands. And I'm just going to show you guys how I apply this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Prime Time by Bare Minerals um, all over my face. And this is a silicone based um, primer I use this in a lot of my videos. I just like applying this all over my face. Um, I just like pressing it in. Of course, like I said, my T-zone is the oiliest part. So you want to focus on the areas where you're more oily because um, you want to make sure your makeup stands, stays longer on your face. So I'm just pressing in the primer. Okay, next thing I'm going to be doing is applying the Magic um, nude liquid powder foundation in 320 by L'Oreal and I do have some acne I don't know if you can see it like here on my forehead and I'm never I'm not a person who breaks out a lot so it's pretty weird how I'm like breaking out now so I don't know if it's because of the new um, I've been using this um, MAC um, Studio Moisture Cream Hydrate um, what is this? A moisture cream which is like a moisturizer so I don't know if that's breaking me out but I don't know pretty weird. So I'm just shaking this and applying this on my finger. I'm just going to dab some on my face. Um, and I went to go get this product. There wasn't a lot of color selections because a lot of them were either open or not there. So I don't know if this is my color, but I shall see if it is. So if I'm looking, I'm looking this way because the mirror is right here. So I'm just applying this all over my face, I'm just dabbing it and I'm applying it on top of the area where I might need a little extra coverage. And so far, it's smooth, but it has a kind of scent to it, which is kind of bothering me. But it's nothing big. Okay, so now I'm getting my Sephora Eyebrows Precision, Precision Foundation Brush. I'm just going to be dabbing this and kind of swirling this around. As you can see, I bring my. It really blends out really nice, actually. So this is how it looks. I don't know if you guys can see any difference on my face, but it really looks really nice and powdery. So you just want to bring it down your neck as well. If you're gonna have your hair up, have it put a little bit of foundation on your ears, whatever's left on the brush. And bring it down. Okay. So that is it. So I'm just going to show you guys that.
the application and how I just apply my foundation. And I'll be come back and talk to you guys more once I finish my whole makeup look. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everyone, so I'm back with my finished makeup look for today. Um, yeah, it's really simple. I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I use on my face. On my face. I use Bahama Mama for my matte bronzer. And I use this with my, of course, my Sigma Small Contour FO5 brush. And then I use this Sigma Precision Angled P84 brush to contour my nose. Um, and then I use the Contour K by Anastasia Beverly Hills just for a little contour. I use just the color Fawn, which is the middle color. And then I use the Lancome um, Blush Subtil, Subtle. Subtle? Subtle? I don't know. <laughs> and this is the color Shimmer, Shimmer Mandarin Sky. This is how it looks like. Um, and then, after that, I apply my concealer and I use the Clinique Light Natural 1. Um, I'll show you how it looks. It's very um, yellow based. So I love that. And I use that, of course, with my contour kit. Anastasia Beverly Hills. I use the color Banana. And I use this color. I think it's Vanilla. I'm not too sure what the name of that color is. And I use my big um, large powder brush to apply that all over my face. Um, the first time I ever applied gel liner was today and I was so excited because it came out pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. It came out amazing. And I used the Maybelline um, Eye Studio in the color Black is Black with the angled small angled E65 brush by Sigma and then for my eyes um, I had this eyeshadow palette for a while and I used it before I got my naked palette so this was like my first like neutral palette which was the um, Love and Beauty by Forever 21 natural palette and this is how it looks like it's so pretty and like to be honest like I like you know put this on the side once I got once I got my naked 2 palette and it's amazing it has the pigmentation or like phenomenal like it's amazing even though they're pretty like chalky um of course it's this was like I believe like twelve dollars um they are they have amazing pigmentation and I use this on my eyes I don't know if you can see that if you can it's amazing I if you want me to do a tutorial or a review on this I would definitely do it please like and comment if you want to and then I use the um, Ardell Lashes in the color, in the color, <laughs> in the style 124 black. And these are the ones I'm wearing. These are perfect for every day. Um, they're very natural. Um, they're a tad bit longer than my eyelashes, which is fine because I really have small eyelashes. So these lashes have been like my, my everyday um, lashes um, from Ardell. And then what else did I use today? And then for my lips, I use this Fair Minerals lipstick in the color Speak Your Mind. And this is how it looks like. And then I topped it off with the NARS um, lip gloss in the color I can't, Page, I think. I'm not too sure. It's really pretty. I'll swatch it for you guys. Um, it has like the has like a purple pinky color kind of um, feel that it has so yeah so that's basically all I use for today and so far the foundation has been sticking on my face um it looks pretty nice um it is of course like I said it isn't a full coverage I did not apply any highlighter which is like what for me because I apply highlighter all the time but since this is a matte kind of texture it kind of gave me like a glow already which is kind of weird because I thought it was gonna be like matte like bam and that's because it's pretty hot in my apartment so it's probably because of my oily skin um I will let you guys know throughout the day how it comes out and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours um I have to run errands so hopefully my makeup lasts the whole time and for my eye primer I applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion and uh, I believe it's the original so yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours just to let you guys know how this foundation lasts and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I, it's already 12.30 um, here in Irvine and I just wanted to like give you guys, um, keep you guys updated on 
how my makeup lasted throughout the day, so it lasted pretty good. I did have some, um, some of it did rub off on my nose area and on my mouth because, of course, when you eat, like, foundation tends to come off. But other than that, everything else seems pretty good, as you can see. I am pretty oily at the moment. I don't know why, but, um, I have not applied any powder at all throughout the day. So, sorry, I'm going my hair. So yeah, everything else looks nice. So the L'Oreal foundation is a must. It is legit. It is good. Uh, for my first impression, it was really good. And I really recommend this foundation for people who don't want to apply um, any full coverage foundation. This is a really good alternative. Um, also, it is $12.99 at CVS. So um, compared to like a Sugar foundation from NARS, like $45, so you can't go wrong, and yeah, so I recommend this foundation, it has stayed on my face since early days, I believe, 3 in the afternoon, so 3 or 4, but like until around 8 hours or so, so yeah, I love this foundation so far, I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram, LollipopXO, and yeah, so Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.